In this short episode, we're doing our second Mythbusters session. Let's not just accept something because it's been said so many times that most people believe it. We're going to delve deeper and explore the facts. So let's explore the cone of learning and the suggestion that people only retain 20% of what they hear compared with 90% of what they do. And most people have heard some kind of quote around how much information people retain from reading, hearing and doing. And it all sounds quite plausible. You might have seen the cone of learning or the cone of experience or the learning pyramid, which all refer to the same principle. And you might have thought, Fair enough, I need to work on helping people to read, discuss and do, um, as this is the ultimate in helping people retain information. This cone was originally developed by Edgar Dale back in 1946. He was an American educator who developed the cone as part of his book on how to incorporate audiovisual materials into the classroom learning experience. However, Dale did not include any numbers on his cone and warned his readers not to take the cone too literally. Unfortunately, someone at some time decided to add some numbers to this diagram, perhaps to make it more interesting. Hmm, or make it look and sound authoritative, John. In fact, there is no research that supports the claim that people only remember a certain percentage of anything they have learned. And secondly, as some researchers who wrote an article debunking this said, all the numbers are divisible by five or ten and results are rarely that neat. <laughs> Over the years, beginning in 1971, there have been attempts to debunk this myth. The problem, though, is that people seem determined to use the false information. In fact, there are several excellent papers outlining the details of why this is indeed a myth. And as usual, we'll provide links to those in the show notes. Well, you've heard our thoughts. Now we'd like to hear yours. Add a comment below this episode and tell us if there's something you'd like us to myth bust. We don't want this just to be a one way conversation. So join in by sharing your thoughts and ideas with us. Thanks, folks, for joining us on this Enablers of Change episode. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to know when new episodes are available.